Hi friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss everything related to dictionaries in C sharp. Let us start. Dictionaries are used to store key value pair in a collection. Suppose if you want to store country name and its capital, then you can use dictionaries. You can store the country name in the key and the capital in the value. In the same way, suppose if you want to store student name and his marks, then also you can use dictionaries. You will store the student name in the key and the marks in the value. Today we are going to use this application. First we will see how to create a dictionary and how to add elements to a dictionary and update a element, remove element, loop the only keys and loop values, how to clear complete dictionary and how to find a key in a dictionary and how to find a value in a dictionary. And first we will create a dictionary and we will display the data in this list box. Okay. And also we will see while writing the code, we will see all the characteristics of dictionary. Then it will be very easy to understand. First we will create one dictionary and we are going to display the data. The syntax for the dictionary is dictionary and you need to open the brace. Then you need to provide the type of key. Suppose the type is string. Okay. And here value type. Here suppose you are going to save some string value. And then you need to provide the dictionary name. Suppose here my dictionary. Okay. And you need to provide new. And that's it. This is the index for creating a dictionary. Here string and string are the types what is the type of key and what is the type of value here you can store any type suppose if you want to store string student name and uh, his marks then you can change it to in string and in here also it is string and in here the key will be string it is student name and the value will be marks it is integer suppose if you want to store country name and its capital then it will be string and string okay like that you can create any type here okay now in today's class we are going to create student and his marks and so it is string int and string int just i will rename it to dictionary of students okay this is the name of the dictionary now to add elements now in the button create dictionary that we are going to add elements dictionary students dot just you need to use the add method just add then you need to provide the what is the key and what is the value here just i am providing john and his marks 787 okay like that you can add any number of items just i will copy and paste Okay, now we have added six students to the test students dictionary. Now to loop it, just we will use for each. Now we have the dictionary and we have added the elements. To display it, we can use for each. For each and here you need to make this like key value pair. Key value pair. What is the type here? This is string and int. Same with we can use string and int will close it and just you can provide the name any name you can provide this is just an object in dictionary students okay open braces and close braces now what what it will do is it will get each student first it will get john and it marks from the dictionary students and it will put into the student now to just uh, I, I will add it to the list data dot items dot add we are going to display both key and value for this student dot key just i will concatenate and student dot value dot to string okay here if you observe this is the syntax for creating a new dictionary and you can have any type string in or string float like that you can in any uh, type you can provide here and to add any new element just you can use add and then you can provide the elements here 
and to display or to loop the dictionary you can use for each and just you need to use key value pair and just you need to provide whatever the key and value types you need to provide and you can provide any name this is just object to hold in the loop only inside the loop and in dictionary what is the dictionary name DIT students okay then you can uh, implement your own logic any logic here we are just displaying the data here I am going to display student to get the key here first it, it, it gets the John 786 student dot key key equals to John and student dot value equals to marks it is 786 okay now I will run it now I am clicking on it if you observe this is the B10 create just I clicked on it if you observe we have student name and his marks and one more important point is dictionaries do not allow duplicate keys okay if you enter any duplicate key it will throw throw a runtime error suppose just I will copy it and I will paste it this time using the formula two times and I change the marks triple eight okay now it will run a uh, it will throw a runtime exception just I will run it again I clicked on it if you have job an item with the same key has already been added key formula you need to remember it keys will not be allowed duplicates but value you can enter any duplicate just I will enter same marks again just triple uh, seven for the three there we have triple seven and theorem also triple seven but the value you can allow null and also duplicate it will be allowed just i will click on create if you observe we have the value triple seven triple seven it's two times it is duplicate but it's allowed okay and now we are going to add a new element to the dictionary for this just i will go to here and i will add element okay the same thing whatever we did here dictionary dictionary students dot add you can use anytime you can use it just i will use uh, steel and marks triple nine okay again i will uh, click in the student data first i will clear and i will use the same loop you can put it in a separate method just for a demo purpose i will just copy and paste just what we are doing is we are adding one 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 more element and just we are clearing the data and we are adding the all elements again just i will rerun it first i will create a dictionary and we have the data now i am adding here if you have the only six elements now i am adding one more element we have steve triple nine okay now we are going to update element now we will see how to update a element in dictionary for this it's very simple just we need to check for the element dictionary students whatever the key you want to update just we need to provide suppose here the Patrick marks are 986 uh, by mistake you entered 986 instead of 886 now we are going to update it first we will check the key Patrick and we are going to update the marks 886 and again we are going to clean the list and we are going to update it okay just i will rerun it now if you observe patrick marks are 986 now i am going to update if you observe it's 886 it is always better before updating or removing it is better to check if the key is available existing in the dictionary or not then it will not throw any runtime errors for this just you need to use if dictionary dot contains key you need to use this contains key method and then you need to provide the what is the key name here patrick okay again i will rerun it first it will check if the student is available then only it, it's going to update his marks first i will create the dictionary just i will add the element now we are going to update it's now 886 now we will see how to remove a element for this I clicked on this remove element and now we are going to remove Sridhar now we don't want this uh, student and so we are going to remove this for this it's very simple just you need to use dictionary 
dot remove we need to use remove function and then you need to provide the key name here key is three that okay and again we need to fill the list box just i will copy and paste here okay now i am running it if you observe we have three that here now i am removing this element just i clicked on it if you observe three that is removed now we are going to see how to loop keys in some situations we don't want to loop complete dictionary it may affect the performance just we need to loop the only keys in those situations just i will click on this loop keys for this first we need to get the keys you need to use dictionary what are the type here string comma int dot here key connection and what is the uh, name you can provide any name just i will provide keys equals to you need to get it from the uh, dictionary student dot keys this is the syntax just you need to provide the dictionary what is the type here you need to provide the what is string and in and dot key collection then keys and now we, we are going to get the keys from dictionary of students now just you can look for each and uh, just uh, as you know it is a string variable and here student name name in keys okay and then you can type uh, just I will use it uh, just I will uh, list data dot item start add here we are going to display only the name okay just this is the name before that just we are going to clear it okay if you observe first we got the keys then we are looping the keys and you are adding the name just we are adding the name this is the key to the uh, list box now i will run it first we have the dictionary it's it has both key and value now i am going to loop only keys and we are going to display only the key, student names here the student name is the key if you observe we have only a uh, keys here now we are going to see how to loop only values for this i am clicking on this loop values here you need to do the same thing just you can use the dictionary string comma int dot value collection here you can provide any name values equals to dictionary dot values now we have the values all the values in this dictionary into this values variable okay now we can use the same list uh, loop here in place of values and these are the marks okay and here this is integer that's it now i will rerun it if you have we have both key and value now we are looping only values and we are displaying the values now we have only marks and suppose if you want to clear the dictionary then you can use i will click on this clear dictionary for clearing the dictionary just you need to use dictionary dot clear just it will clear the complete dictionary just i will uh, fill the data again okay just i will rerun it now if we observe we have six elements now i am going to clear the dictionary now there are no items in the dictionary and now we are going to find a key for this just we will use the button most of the time uh, uh, if the dictionary has any element or most of the time we need to write these conditions for this first we need to uh, write the find a key value if we have the key then we are going to display some information we found the key if not uh, the key is not found but this just you need to use as mentioned earlier the dictionary dot contains key then you need to provide the key, key name uh, suppose 3 that then lbl output dot text equals to 
is from else key is not from okay just we are using this contains key if it contains this key then we are going to display this output if not we are going to display this output And if you observe, we have Sreezer here. Now I am clicking on this find key and key is found. Now I will provide some other value. Just Sree. And as you know, Sree is not available. Then it has to display key is not found. Now I will rerun it again. Sree is not available here. Just I clicked on it. Key is not found. In the same way to find the value, I will click on this find value and here also same thing if dictionary dot contains value and you need to provide the value here suppose triple eight then you can lbl dot output dot text equals to value Okay, if not else Okay, if the value is available then it will display this if not it will display this Triple eight is available here uh, click on it if you have the value found now we will provide some different value triple one if you observe triple one is not available here if i click on it value not found and also uh, i forgot to mention here 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 we have a dictionary you can provide the values you, you add it separately in some situations just if you want to add inline just here just i will add inline just you need to open and close the curly braces and here you can add whatever the parameters you want just i will add here mark one comma is marks 66 Mark 4 and his marks are 668. Here, this is inline. No need to separately write everything. While creating the dictionary itself, you can create the uh, marks. Now, I will rerun it. Just we are going to show the data. If you observe, we have mark 1 and mark 4. Okay, friends, today we have discussed everything related to dictionaries. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and Click on the bell icon for more videos. Thank you.